scientific notation is a way to write large numbers. If we take a look at this number right here, 2,860,000, we can write that in scientific notation by taking our decimal point, which is here after the ones place, and moving it over until we have a number in the front that's less than 10. The number before the decimal point must be less than 10. This number is 2, so we are fine. So to write this number in scientific notation, it would look like this. 2.86, because those are the digits that are greater than 0 that are left, times 10. And we count how many decimal places we've moved over to the sixth power. We write it as times 10 to an exponent because each place value is a group of tens. And we've gone on 10 to the sixth power. If I look at the standard form of this number, 450,000, to write that in scientific notation, I'm going to take my decimal point, I'm going to move it over one, two, three, four five places because here my number before the decimal point is less than 10. So in scientific notation, my number would be 4.5. So those are the two, those are the digits left that are greater than zero times 10 to the one, two, three, four, fifth power because I moved my decimal point over five places. In this example, we're starting with scientific notation. It's 7 times 10 to the third power, and I want to write this number in standard form. So I write my 7 down. My decimal point goes right after. Now I'm going to move my decimal point over three places. One, two, three. And then I fill the zeros in to those places. So my number, 7 times 10 to the third power in standard form, is 7,000. In this example, we have 4.652 times 10 to the 10th. This means I'm going to start with 4.652, and I'm going to move my decimal point over 10 places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's where my new decimal point's going to be, and I'm going to fill in the rest of these spaces with zeros so that my new number now becomes 46,520,000,000. When we compare numbers in scientific notation, we take a look at the exponents by the tens. In this case, the exponents I see are 16 and 15. And because I know that 16 is greater than 15, and I also see that our numbers are not the same, then I can conclude that this number is greater than this number because 16 is greater than 15. And that means I'd have to go over one decimal place more with this number than this number. Let's take this example. 3.53 times 10 to the 37th, 3.2 times 10 to the 37th. I can't compare these two exponents because they're exactly the same. If your exponents are equal, then you need to look at the numbers before this 10 to the 37th power. If I look at 3.53 and 3.2 and fill in my zero there, I can see here that the 5 is greater than the 2, which means that this number here is greater than this number. So 3.53 times 10 to the 37th is greater than 3.2 times 10 to the 37th because 3 and 53 hundredths is greater than 3 and 2 tenths. Now remember, Adelina, with scientific notation, I know this looks a little bit funny, but all this means is some number times 10 to the nth power. So whatever this power means, uh, whatever this power is equal to, this will tell you how many places to move the decimal point. And when we're comparing, you're going to compare the exponent unless they're exactly the same, and then you look at this number here.